Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing the game Pocket Mirror. Yes, I know you guys have been waiting forever for the next part. I'm so sorry for the delays. Just with me being sick, I didn't want to risk me possibly blowing up my voice for even longer when I like yelled in surprise at something or tried to do the Alice voice for too long. Something along those lines could have gone disastrously for the series, so I wanted to rest up and recover my throat enough, and now I'm back. We are playing more Pocket Mirror. I'm so excited because this game is very interesting. It's really, really cool. Last episode, we solved a bunch of creepy riddles, and we were able to uh, best the ringleader, I believe is what his name was, or the jack-in-the-box, or whatever the hell his name was. But we bested him after multiple attempts. I don't know the answers to some of those riddles still, like why they were what they were. But whatever, we found this crazy room with three mirrors in it, so we can approach these mirrors... And we can actually go through the mirrors. Now, I've decided I want to go through them in order from left to right and find out what's behind them. I don't know if one of these is going to kill us, so this could be a very short intro to the episode. But let's go ahead and step through. Ooh, that was a cool animation. Just, like, slipped through there and disappeared into it. All right, yeah? What happened? Oh, those other two mirrors are smashed up. I wonder if that means that I would have died if I had tried to go through these. Like, the broken glass would have, like shredded me or something. They're broken. Yeah, they are. Okay, are these any different? Uh, I don't want to look at my menu right now. I just want to examine the dresses. It was a frilly, elegant dress. She seems pretty happy, despite the fact that there's those broken mirrors now. Now, maybe we just stepped into it and we stepped back out into the same spot and someone had smashed these mirrors while we were gone. Or maybe this is a different dimension or something. I have no idea. The queen's here. Too bad I'm stuck facing the wall. Aw, oh, it's too bad, buddy. I wish I could, like, turn you around or something. This is a very special day. The queen has just arrived. Oh, yeah? I think. <laughs> you don't know either. All right, well, let's leave the room and say hi to the queen. I'm assuming the queen's out here somewhere. What's going on here? I don't know. Here's all the dancers. Oh, they're all, like, lined up and stuff. Hi, queenie. There she is again. <laughs> With her squeaky shoes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you all for attending this very special ceremony. You have all given me your best, but as you know, only one of you can become my favorite couple. All the others who don't make it will be executed. What? Oh, that's fucked up. That is not a fun game. Executed? <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, doesn't sound like anyone else is happy either. Who dares interrupt my ceremony? I... I'm just... Silence! Uh-oh, she's gonna do the same thing as she did before, where she's gonna ask us a question and then interrupt us every time we try to actually answer it. All right, Queenie. Who are you? Where did you come from? What are you doing at my ceremony? Uh, I'm just looking for something. Oh, and what might that thing be? Um, I'm looking for... Uh, limbs or something I lost? Uh, I think it'd be kind of fucked up if we told her limbs. Like, that's the truth, yes. But that's like a weird thing to say. Um, something I lost, I guess? I'll, I'll go ahead and say that one. That sounds a little safer. I see. That's unfortunate. Take a seat, my girl. I will let you look for whatever it is that you've lost after the ceremony. Thank you. Ah, okay, cool. So, can we talk to these couples? These poor guys? Uh, no? It's not gonna let me? Oh, here we go. Even if we don't win, we shall perish together as lovers. Our love is eternal, both in life and death. Oh, that's a little bit morbid. We're feeling really nervous, miss. Please root for us. I will. Aw. Okay, yeah, let's root for those ones. Even though they're all technically the same. They're all Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. This is... This is way too cruel. We've given it our all, and yet... We don't stand a chance against them. Oh, You guys are the underdogs. Maybe I'll root for you, too. It's okay. You two are... It's no use living if we don't win. We're grateful for this execution. Oh, are they the uh, disembodied Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox? The ones who have, like, their heads sitting on the couches? Are we, like, back in the past? Is that what's going on? I have this weird feeling like we're back in the past. It's weird also that the, the queen doesn't remember us, even though we just had that dinner with her, unless she's just playing mind games because she's, you know, insane. But I feel like we're back in the past, and this is before they got beheaded by the other couples. So I'm guessing what happened, just based on what I've seen so far, is that that couple wins. This couple up here in the upper right corner wins. And then the other couples get mad, and they tear them limb from limb and scatter their limbs everywhere. And then the queen kills the rest of them. Something like that. I don't know. 
We won't ever forgive them if we lose. Our grudge will haunt them forever. Oh god, yeah, so that's like the setup to the whole, you know, murder thing. Alright, where do I go to sit down, queen? Uh, just this couch over here? Maybe that's where I gotta go. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah. Now I shall announce the winning couple. Oh, they already danced. Okay, I thought they were gonna dance. Which is... Yes? Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. That's everybody's name. That doesn't explain anything. <laughs> oh, there they are, though. They're spinning. They're super happy about it. They knew it was them. Congratulations to the winners. You may step aside. Oh, God. <laughs> they're dancing as they're going off the, the stage. I, I would do the same thing, I think. If I was like, yeah, I just barely missed a bullet. Like, literally. <laughs> I just dodged that bullet. As for all of you failures, you shall be executed. She can't just murder everyone. Soldiers, march! Oh, God. Are we going to watch something? We're going to watch something really fucked up here, aren't we? Yo! Don't do this. Wait. Farewell, my servants. You have served me well. No. Oh. Oh, God. That's all bloody and fucked up. Whoa. I was not expecting that kind of animation. Whoa. That's gross. Now that that's taken care of, it's time for tea. Okay. As for you... Yes, please don't kill me too. Clean up this mess before leaving, will you? Or else... Yes, I will. Uh, this is not my mess. You made this, Miss Squeaky Shoes. Although I'm not really going to argue with her because she could shoot me in the face. Um... I think I want to go back through the mirror. Um... Uh, well, this is going to make it easy to get limbs for the disembodied heads, I guess. We can probably sort through these bodies and get some. That's pretty morbid. Holy shit, I was not actually expecting any of that to happen. Um, the couple's bodies lie torn apart, their expressions forever frozen, and the moments of terror felt before their executions? That's so fucked up! Acquire two severed legs? Oh god, they're all bloody and shit. That's so fucked. Oh man, hi soldier. You're not going to talk to me, guys? No? What if I try to sit in the queen's chair? That'd be great. Haha, <laughs> I have all the power now. Pitch black stuffing slowly oozes from the dancer's wounds, staining their once shiny fur. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> acquired a severed arm. Great. Wonderful. Oh, so goopy. Acquired a loose torso. Loose torso. This is horrible. Yeah, it really is. Oh god. I feel bad. I feel really bad about doing this. Ugh. Okay. Great! So we got the parts, so that was awesome. I've waited half of my whole life for this moment. I wonder who will win. Um, I guess you missed it because you're facing the wrong way, Mr. Pumpkin, but, uh, some fucked up shit happened, man. I wish I could dance like them, but unfortunately I'm just a pumpkin. You don't want to dance like them, man. Because if you dance like them, then you run the risk of getting absolutely slaughtered. The door was closed. Okay, so we can't go through there. No, we can't. Can we escape to a different room? Possibly? See who play? Please? No? Okay, great. I'm having a weird deja vu. What's a deja vu? Oh, come on, Alice. You don't know what a deja vu is? It's when stupid people ask ignorant questions. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that was pretty rude. All right, so I think this was all we could do here. So we went back into the past to get some limbs for the current Mr. Uh, Rabbit and Mrs. Fox. So that's good that we got those. But we also witnessed a horrible, disgusting, crazy massacre. So that was kind of fucked up. Um, so will this send us back to the present? And the other question I have is, will shit have changed here in the present? Right, is anything... Or was that the future? I guess that must have been the future then. But shouldn't the queen have remembered us? Because all these people are alive still dancing, I just realized. So this has to be... That had to have been the future when they get slaughtered, or these are new couples, or I don't know, my brain is melting. All I know is I'm going to go back and save here real quick, guys, and then we're going to go through a different mirror. Okay, time for mirror number two. Let's get through this, guys. I need to take these Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox first. Oh, okay. So we got to go back and drop off the parts that we just found. Uh, that makes sense. I guess we probably can't carry a lot. We're a little girl. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit, but this was all I could find for now. That is quite all right, my girl. Thank you for your help. I'm glad I'm able to help you. Yeah, even though they're covered in other people's oozing gross gooey bits, you're going to be some weird Frankenstein monster. Maybe I'll leave those here for a bit. Yeah, sure. You, you going to talk to me yet, lady? She looks sad somehow? Yeah, yeah. I would be sad too if I was just like a disembodied head who had to watch 
my tormentors freaking dance for eternity. All right, let's go through this middle one. Uh, yeah. I wonder what sort of horrific, terrible things are waiting for us on the side of this one. I'm sure it's nothing good. Oh. Oh, okay, so the other two mirrors are smashed. I get it. It's so that you can't, like, create a time paradox by going between all the different mirror dimensions each time. I see. All right, that makes sense. That's what you get. What do you mean? That's what I get? What did I do? That's what you get. Uh, did, what did I do? I didn't do anything to you, pumpkins. Chill out. Oh, fuck. I don't like this place already. What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, I hate this place. Acquired a loose torso. Oh! Wait, these are the... These are the bodies of the dancers, but they're like... Why are they gooped up? Why are they spread out, like, all over the place now? This is, like, different placing. Are all the mirrors different dimensions? They're not actually different times? Maybe they're different dimensions, and that's it. Two corpses lay on a pool of bloody stuffing. Although they're completely torn apart, their hands are still joined in a firm grip. Oh, that's kind of fucked up and sad. That's actually really fucked up and sad. Were they holding hands? Yeah. Oh, God. All right, yay. Can we get out of here, please? Their limbs were flying through the air like swoosh and bam. Oh, God, I'm glad you got some fun out of that, mister. All right, the piano's all fucked up looking, too. Everything's all fucked up looking. This is Mr. Rabbit. Uh, is this Mr. Rabbit from our time? Doesn't matter. It doesn't look like we can talk to him. Can we go in there? It's shut tight. I don't really want to go in there anyway. It was quite a show, miss. You should have been here to watch. I mean, I saw them get shot in the other part, but what happened where their bodies would have been, like, mangled and thrown everywhere else? Like I said, I think this is a different dimension, not just a different time period like the other one was. The corpse was reduced to a pool of blood and stuffing. Acquired a severed leg. Great. Okay, well, at least we're keeping up our Pokemon collection. That's good. Yeah, I can't talk to that head. And why would I be able to? All right, that door won't budge. It's so dark in here. It's so creepy. One of their hands came flying at me. It was so scary. Yeah, I bet it was scarier for the people who got ripped apart. Oh, my God. This is so fucked up and messy and gross. No, nothing there? Nothing to talk to? Can we go into any of these rooms? We can go into this one. All right, cool. Oh, God. Something bad's gonna happen. I know it. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? A tall clock stands in a corner, its hands running across its face, as if in a hurry. What is that noise? That can't be a good noise. That cannot be a good fucking noise. Oh, I don't... Oh! Oh, whoa, what the hell? That was like someone peeking out. There's something strange inside. Don't you dare give me in to the guards. Yeah? Okay. Oh, it's a Mrs. Fox. Hi, Mrs. Fox. Is there anyone looking for me out there? I, I don't know. I desperately need your help. You're the only one who can help me. All right. I need you to go outside and come back to tell me what's going on. Can you do that? I'll try. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, nothing was going on when I was out there the first time. Does it say anything else? A very dangerous fugitive dancer is wanted by the royal guards. Anyone who turns them in will receive two lollipops as reward. Two whole lollipops, guys. Gee willikers. That sounds great. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll go back out here. Oh, what the hell? Hi, dark figure. Um, that's a guard. Is he going to shoot me if he sees me? Oh, why? What happens if I just... Uh, what? Okay, he saw me. Nothing happened. Hello? Okay, I thought I thought he was going to shoot me in the face. Don't get in our way. These are Queen Eglit's orders. Okay, okay, sure. Okay, so now people are looking for her. All right, don't get in our way. Queen Eglit's orders. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, miss, what are you doing here? I, I was just... A little girl like yourself shouldn't be wandering around in a place like this. I'm sorry, I just... We're looking for a fugitive dancer. Have you seen her by any chance? Um, oh, uh, no, I haven't. I see. Please do let us know if you see her. She's a very serious threat to this kingdom's safety. I see. We don't want to turn her in, do we? I, I feel like Queen Eglid is evil, and we should probably let the dancer know that people are indeed looking for her. Hey, what's up, girl? The guards are looking for you outside, miss. I see. Could you open this cabinet for me? All right. All right, we open the cabinet for you. There you go. You're free. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Come on. I got you. You're coming outside with me now. What are you doing? Let me go. Oh, shit. They're going to fucking shoot us, aren't they? What's all this ruckus? Don't shoot me. That's her. We found the murderer. 
Please let me go. Silence. This girl is now my... Er, silence. This girl is now my hostage. Shoot me and she shall die as well. <laughs> Please wait a minute. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I helped you. I helped you, you freaking bitch. Ah, oh, I'm so angry now. God damn it. What the piss? Alright, so this just goes to show, guys, if you ever find someone who's a fugitive in the closet, turn them in, because they're going to freaking backstab you and be a dick face. Alright, I guess I'll reload the game and reload to where we were before, guys, so I'll see you then. Ugh. Okay, so we're back here speaking to this guard who's looking for Mrs. Fox, and this time we're going to turn her in, because she's an asshole. What a freaking asshole. Alright, you are screwed, Mrs. Fox, because you would have betrayed us anyway, you jerk. You have? Where is she? Inside the cabinet in the tea room. Guards, you heard her. But please don't hurt her. Why? She was going to rip your head off. I mean, not that this version of Alice knows that, but... Ugh, goddamn. Do you have anything else to say? She's a very serious threat to this kingdom safety. Okay, so you just repeat what you have to say. So we're going to walk in here. They're probably going to be shooting her this time without me being a human shield. There you are, you murderer. You traitor! Why did you get me in? Because you would have freaking killed me. Listen, I've already lived through that and died through that. I'm not gonna do that again for you. You're not worth it. I... I will never forgive you. Yeah, that's okay. I don't even feel bad about this now. Now, if I'd done that the first time, I would have felt horrible about that. But now, I, I do not give a shit. <laughs> Our work here is done, men. Let us go back to report to Queen Egliot. Good job, soldiers. See you later. Okay, take your time leaving, that's fine. I'm sorry. No, we're not. Screw her. She probably is going to give us some parts, too. The torn body of a dancer, blood pours out of various holes in her chest. I have no choice. Acquired a severed arm. Why don't we just rip off all of her limbs? She's just, you know, it's not like she's going to ask for them back or anything. Anything in the cabinet? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's get out of here. I think that's all we can explore in this dimension, unless something terrible happens now, like maybe she comes back to life and chases us. Oh god, now that I've said that, that's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Let's get out of this dimension, it's terrifying. Oh, back to normal realm. The nice realm, where things are fine and dandy. Oh boy. <laughs> this game is crazy, guys. I really love it, though. It seriously is a lot of fun. But I'm going to go back and save again. As you guys know, I save spam. I'm going to also drop off the body parts we found to Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox in this dimension. And then we're going to go ahead and try the final mirror. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, final mirror, and away we go. Let's see what's in here, guys. I'm very, very curious at this point. So we saw... The dancers all get executed because they didn't win. We saw the bloody aftermath of a ballroom just absolutely covered in gore. And now, I don't know what sort of horrors are going to be awaiting us here, but I'm a little bit nervous. Oh! It's, uh... Okay, this looks a lot nicer than the last one, but there's still dead bodies with blood everywhere. What's going on here? Hey, you! Oh, a detective? Oh, hello, detective, sir, guy, man. And what might a young girl like yourself be doing here? Can't you see there's a very important investigation going on right now? Oh, I'm sorry, I was just... Oh, well, it doesn't matter, to be honest. Tell me now, do you happen to know how to read? Yes, I do. Great, then you could you please read this riddle for me? I killed not one, but eight in pairs of two. Clap your hands and you'll be able to see through. That detective is pretty ignorant, he will never see the answer. Kisses and hugs from the ultimate best dancer. Oh, uh, what? So, was it Mr. and Mrs. Fox who won the dancing competition? Who killed everyone? What, what happened in this universe? This is so weird. I like that it's a little bit different each time. What was that? Who wrote this riddle? Did you read it wrong, you foul-mouthed girl? No, I read it exactly what was written here. Or, I read exactly what was written here. You know what? I have better things to do than playing detective. <laughs> Playing detective? <laughs> Guards, execute them both. I want to go home. No, don't kill them. What the heck? No, wait. Oh, shit. All right, that was really dangerous, first of all. They're pointing towards each other with their guns. If they had missed, they would have shot each other, dum-dums. <laughs> I guess they're not that smart. They look like they're like toy soldiers or something anyway. Okay. Good job, guards. Our work here is done. As for you, my girl, you can have this. Acquired a bloody bag. Oh, boy, thank you. Gee whiz, that's great, detective. Thanks, buddy. Are you so kind to everyone, you know? I have no idea what's going on in this dimension. It wasn't me, for sure. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's good, Mr. Pumpkin, because if the pumpkins could start killing people in this game, I'd get a little bit worried. I really don't like that detective. Isn't he kind of dumb? Yeah, he's really dumb, man. Can we go in this room finally? To the right? No? Okay, fine. I see how it's going to be. All right. Don't touch anything in order not to disturb our investigation. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to touch everything because I need some of these limbs, okay? Is that all right? Is that all right with you, man? I hope it's okay. All right. Let's examine everything. Ugh. Only the heads of the two dancers were left in a bed of bloodied stuffing. Ooh! Laying on the ground, the couple rests in a pool of blood, their faces completely unrecognizable. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I need some more of these parts here. Uh, I wonder what the bloody bag was, anyway. That was one job well done, am I right? <laughs> yeah, sure thing, bud. That is fine. I think you did a great job. Everyone at the station is going to be so proud of you. Can't even examine these recently dead corpses. So that's fun as well. What's that? Immense sea of stars lies behind the window, floating softly in a whimsical, never-ending flow. All right, what's this bloody bag? What's what's it got? What's it got for me? Can I like open it? Oh yeah, okay. I just used it. Cool. Acquired two severed arms, a severed leg. Is that all we needed to complete the uh, Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox in our dimension? I wonder. I can't go in there that time. All right, that's fine. If that's all we had to do in this one, just read something and then watch a terrible murder take place, then sure, let's go back to our dimension, save the game, and before I give those final pieces back to uh, Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Fox, I think I'm going to save the game here, leave it on a cliffhanger, guys, as I normally do. Uh, I think we made a decent amount of progress this episode. I hope that you guys enjoy the return of this one. It's definitely been fun to bring it back. I was way more creeped out this episode than I was last episode, that's for sure. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye Sir Piggly.